Dear Jacqueline, you're the only person I can tell about what happened, but you must promise not to say a word to anyone. Don't answer any questions about where we've gone. If you do, it could be very dangerous for us. Since you've never had to disappear, I'll try to give you an idea of our life. I call our hiding place the Secret Annex. And strange as it may seem, it's actually quite cozy here. You'd be surprised to find out that we're just above Daddy's office. Up the back staircase and behind a small door. Open the door and take one giant step and voila! Daddy and Mummy's room is right behind the staircase. Margaret and I reside next door. We've even got a bathroom. Upstairs there's a larger room with a kitchen. The Van Pelses sleep there at night, but during the day it's a big living room. We have to stay upstairs as long as the workers are still in the building. Peter Van Pels has a room off to the side, much smaller than mine. And there's an attic for storage. There are warehouses on both sides of us and neighbors all around. We have to be invisible day and night. Still see light, sweets. At first, it was only Daddy and me doing most of the work. Mummy and Margot eventually got over their shock and started to help. Shirts. It was amazing to see how many of our things Daddy had managed to sneak away. I wasn't the only one who brought my memories with me. Daddy kept his old soldier's trunk. It was hard for all of us not to think about the life we'd left behind. I miss my old room, but at least I have my movie stars to keep me company. With a little luck, we can all be happy here until we go back home. And now our annex really is secret. Mr. Kugler and Mr. Kleiman had a bookcase built in front of our little doorway. You have to be careful when you go downstairs to bend down low and try not to bump your head. Everything was ready by the time the Van Pelzers arrived on July 13th. Here. Well done, Come in. Come in. I need oxygen. Oh, no. Well, I told Mr. Van Pels that I'm not going anywhere without my little potty. <laughs> Peter Van Pels, dope that he is, bought his cat. Even though Daddy told him not to. Mrs. Van Pals asked me to love Peter like a brother, but that's impossible. Mummy says he's shy, but I think he's rather boring. Now we're to have another guest. The other day, Daddy announced we have an opportunity to save one of our acquaintances. Mr. Pfeffer has asked me about a hiding place. Now, we know this will only add to your worries, so the final decision rests with you. It's just as dangerous for seven as it is for eight. So we're agreed. From what we can tell, Mr. Pfeffer is quite congenial. For a dentist, anyway. That's all I had better write for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again, Jacqueline. But probably not before the war's over. Until then, a little kiss from your best friend, Anne. <laughs>